Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am super excited to be bringing you all this Ateke recipe. Since we started our cassava series, this is one of the highly requested ones. And as I'm doing it, I'm trying it for the first time with all of you so let's see if we nail or fail it and also whatever failures we get i'm going to share so i'm just cutting and peeling my cassava also known as yuca and you want to take out the core which is the stringy part that lines the middle of your cassava you can use your hands just like i'm doing now because that's what i'm comfortable with or you can go right ahead and use your cutting board if that is easier for you i'm just going to go ahead and cut it into little pieces and i'll give it a good good wash and then we will blend it it is the same exact process as making gari only instead of dry roasting this one it is steamed okay a very big shout out to all my ivorians in the house because as we all know ateke originates from the coastal area of ivory coast hey melissa i am in your country today i hope i make you proud <laughs> Alright y'all, so after blending, as always, we need a bowl with a strainer insert. If you don't have this, you can use any bowl with a strainer you have in your house, which I'll show you later. And then I'm going to line this with my chiffon cloth and pour my blended cassava into it. Tie it up and we're going to leave this to ferment for about three days. If you don't ferment this, you're not going to get that flavor <laughs> that we're looking for. Okay, yes. So I'm just tying this and I'll leave it alone to do its thing for the next three days. Now, for those of you that were wondering, what do I do if I don't have a container like this? You don't have to go out and buy one. You can use a regular bowl in your home. Just place your strainer inside of it and line it with a cheesecloth or whatever cloth that you please and allow the water to just come out of it and during this fermentation process you can weigh this down with heavy objects to get any excess water out okay but i'm gonna go ahead and use my juice press to achieve this purpose most of the water is already out of my cassava anyway at this point i'll line my juice press with a cheesecloth and i'll squeeze out the excess water that's still in my cassava now if you don't have one of these you can either wring out the water or you can weigh the cassava down with heavy objects okay <laughs> this is what we have right here let me break it up and this is what the inside look like very nice very dry i'm going to go ahead and repeat the process until everything is done just look at how nice and dry this is very very perfect i'm going to go ahead and put this through a strainer but before then i'll get some hot water going because i'll be steaming the acheke so i'll be heating this up on medium heat until i'm done with everything and we'll begin steaming it so now in a strainer i'm going to add some of the cassava dough and i'm going to sift it right through it and i'm using a spatula to help do it faster all right y'all so this is what i got very nice very smooth it is now time for us to make our little pearl like ball so using my spatula i loosen up the cassava dough a little bit and then i'm going to just begin spinning it around okay 
I'll use my fingers to try to separate any that is still sticking together okay or you can go right ahead and toss it up to get it to separate then we will be spinning our bowl around to get it's into those little pearl like balls that Ateke has. So, yeah, you spin, 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 toss to separate anything that's sticking together, or use your fingers to do so. And as you can see, it is beginning to turn into little balls. This is the final product. Just look at our tiny little ball. So the next thing is to begin steaming it. So I'm going to go ahead and line my um, steaming baskets with the cheesecloth because I don't want the pearls to go right through the holes. And then I'm going to go ahead and spread our cassava pearls out into the basket or into the cheesecloth okay because i want the steam to go through it this method cooks it beautifully it'll be done within five minutes and then i put the next one in and on and on okay so i'll repeat this process until all our acheke is done all right so while that is going on i'm making or getting another batch ready i had a lot of fun filming this and it was my first time and i was doing it with you also it made it even more exciting all right so let's check on the first batch it looks perfect well this is not the first batch the first batch i didn't like how it turned out that is how i came up with this method that seemed to work so perfectly just look how beautiful this looks once i get it out i'm going to lay the cheesecloth back in spread out the rest and i repeat the process until all the cassava is done okay and ta-da this is the final product our acheke is looking absolutely beautiful but when you touch it it's kind of sticky if you like it this way that's fine but if you want it to be single grains just like couscous what i did was to transfer this into a bowl cover it with plastic wrap and kept it in my refrigerator for about four hours okay it's been a couple of hours let's check how our ateke is doing very very crumbly it's just like couscous at this point so it's exactly the way you would pick it up from the african market okay you can have it fresh or you can put it in the refrigerator to achieve this texture but there were some bigger chunks in it so i'm going to just quickly put it through my colander and i'll get the bigger chunks out this is the chunk sizes that i got that were bigger so next i'm just going to put it through a blender and give it a quick blend And this is what it looks like after I put it through the blender. And this is what you want. This is exactly what you want. So after putting it through the colander, that's what I have. I'm going to mix the two together and we are done. Our own homemade acheke is ready. Stay tuned for how I put it together to enjoy thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up 
Thank you. Share and subscribe if you have not done that yet. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the sweet team, I love you all so, so much. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke onami ni ochemi sweet eh, mahabotu. Bye y'all. Now, this was my failed one. I promised to insert it. So after making the pearls, I spread it out to dry overnight. And this is what it looked like the next day. I was super excited. It looked beautiful. It was halfway dry, but not completely dry. So I went ahead to spread it in my steaming baskets, which I lined with a chiffon cloth. And I must say that the chiffon cloth was the best cloth to use. So forget about the cheesecloth that I used. The reason why I used that in the end was because I ended up burning this one. It was too big. I should have folded it more times than I did. But hey, when you're trying something, you don't know how it'll go. The problem was I steamed this for 10 minutes and it still was not done. So I went ahead to steam it for an additional 10 minutes. So at this point, it's been 20 minutes of steaming. And the reason why I continue steaming, if you can see, is that it still had white um, pearls in there that were uncooked. So it was half cooked and half uncooked. And although I had cooked it for 20 minutes now it still didn't look like it was gonna get any better <laughs> i stared it up covered it and gave it about five minutes to see if it'll work it still didn't so what i did was to sprinkle a little bit of water on top of it and continue cooking all together i was cooking this for about 40 minutes and i was like uh-uh this cannot be it it shouldn't take that long it's not that much so that's how i came up with the rolling the pearls out and steaming it immediately and with that you can steam a little more and it still cooks faster than this one cooked but at the end of the day i still got some acheque so as i'm unveiling it now it was about 40 minutes later and it is now cooked because I had to sprinkle a little water on it it looks a little softer than um, it should be but once I put it in my refrigerator and brought it out it was perfect but yeah it made a check it but not to my satisfaction so yeah try the one that you think will be easier for you because this is not my favorite the first demonstration is. I love you all. Bye.